Welcome back to another video tutorial brought to you by GraphicDesignerTips.com. My name is Steve and today what I'm going to be speaking about is uh, our paragraphs in Adobe Illustrator. Um, you know, setting up paragraphs uh, for your layouts, whether they be a uh, one-sided flyer, a postcard, uh, or what you see on screen, which is a brochure. So, um, on screen is a trifold brochure uh, that I designed for a client of mine. And uh, looking through a, a lot of my artwork, trying to find something that had a, a lot of uh, different paragraphs in it. Um, and there's a couple different uh, styles of the way I use paragraphs in here. So I'm going to show you the different ways and different options and obviously go through the paragraph palette with you guys. Uh, just so you can see the different options that there are for paragraphs. Because paragraphs are really just playing around with type uh, and text uh, just to make everything look... Uh, a lot neater so uh, that's a big thing making things look neat and and clean um, especially in your paragraphs because uh, if you ever open up a brochure and you, and you see a lot of text elements a lot of paragraphs and everything's kind of messy um, you know there's there's constant stuff being broken to the next line and maybe stuff isn't justified that's gonna definitely have a reflection on the piece and it's gonna make it look uh, a little bit less professional um, it's all these little things that in the end um, you know creative artists will obviously look at it uh, and go wow that's you know they'll they'll see the flaws in it uh, everyday people might not but you know you're a graphic artist your job is to do the best job you can and uh, to do the most professional job you can so um, on the screen right now like I said this is a trifold brochure the three panels and this is actually the inside part of the brochure and um, there are a couple paragraphs, but I want to make sure you have two things open. First, come to Window and make sure you go to Type and make sure your Character Palette is open, which is also Command T, and your Paragraph uh, Palette is open. And I, uh, that's Shift Command T. And they're right over here. I'm actually going to pull these over a little bit. All right. Usually these are nested behind each other like this. Uh, so you kind of kind of go back and forth, but I'm gonna pull these out because I'm gonna be using these both uh, at the same time. So um, the first thing is is over here. Uh, there's a paragraph here, paragraph here. Um, that's considered a paragraph. These are paragraphs and paragraphs. So there's a lot of paragraphs on the screen right now. So uh, the first thing I want to do is I actually want to come to. I want to come to Lipsum.com and grab some dummy text to show you a couple different options. And then in the end, I'm going to show you how I built the paragraphs in this piece. Uh, but Lipsum.com is, is where you can get dummy text uh, and to use in your layouts. It's, uh, if you read it, it really doesn't make any sense. Um, but it's good to use because from far away uh, or from you know when you print your piece and you're looking at it, it looks like real text is in there. But it's really not. It's placeholder text just for the moment, uh, just till you... Uh, you know, you build your build your structure of like your piece, and then in some cases, uh, like I've said before in another tutorial, that I'm waiting for my client to provide me with their copy. So if it takes them two weeks to do that, I'm not going to sit on their project for two weeks. I'm going to get together and I'm going to start doing the layout of the project, and then eventually I get their copy and I throw it in. So uh, we're going to come up here to the type tool, and I did this in another tutorial. So I'm just going to I'm going to talk about this real quick again. If you click right here, if you just click, you're going to be able to type. Uh, you're going to type whatever you want, and then you'll be able to enter and go to the next line. Enter, go to the next line. To get out of this, you're going to hit Escape, so it makes a complete selection now. So you're able to select it without interfering with the type. Um, the way that you can get back in there is by double clicking in the type, and that's how you can edit it. Um, kind of like in a web browser, you have to double click to highlight everything. So um, that's a text selection. So, but now we're going to make a text box. So we're going to click and we're going to hold down and drag to the size that we want. So if we just want a basic box like this or we want a, a longer box like this, uh, we could do both. You could also edit that later. It's very, very simple. So. Um, I am going to control V and paste all that lorem ipsum, uh, which is that Latin text like I spoke to you about. Um, I'm going to paste that in there. And now um, you're going to notice a couple things. Uh, well, the first thing is uh, just like a, any kind of a selection, you get your transform boxes. You can open this or you can close this. Uh, you can make it higher or you can make it smaller. So. Um, 
a couple things about this type. What we're going to do is we're going to come over to the power graph, and right now uh, this is all aligned to the left. So we are going to show you what Align Center does. Um, if you've ever used Microsoft Word, you're going to understand what these three do right away. So and Align Right. So you got one, two, and then three. So those are like the three basic, and then you're going to have the Justify. So uh, if you do Justify. Uh, this is justify with the last line left aligned. It's going to justify everything over to the right, and that last line is going to not justify. Kind of like in this paragraph up here. So we're going to do that, and that's what's going to happen there. Um, justify with the last line aligned center is going to do that. And then this is the same thing, justify with the last line aligned to the right. Very simple. All right. Now the last one is uh, is the justify all line. So that's going to space that last line out. And in a lot of cases, that's going to look kind of funky. Um, but in some cases, you might actually. It really depends on how you're creating your piece, how you really want that paragraph to fit in a certain spot. If you absolutely need a paragraph to look like this, to space out, to be a complete block of type, like meaning that you you want to make sure that you don't have any type of leftover space like what's going on here. What you could do is you could justify that, but obviously that last line looks really sloppy. Uh, you could always come up here and you can hit that to the next line and you see how it spaces out a little bit more. All right, you can hit that to the last line. That's one way of doing it, or I can back up to what I just did and we can come into our character palette and this is where we can start really messing around with, with with stuff and getting the desired results. But we can come into our tracking and we can start to track out that whole paragraph just a little bit. And if you see what it did was it made, it tracked out the letters because that's what tracking does, it adds space after each letter of the doc, of in that whole text box. It's going to track out the letters and eventually some of these words are gonna jump to the next line. And when it jumps to the next line, the line that it jumped from, like so say this word uh, whatever the heck this is. If this jumps to the next line, the first line is going to justify all the way from right to left. And then again, you might have all these spaces. So you're going to kind of have to work around with this, uh, you know, back and forth with this tracking. Um, it's it's more of a custom thing. You're just going to have to uh, go ahead and play around sometimes, and then you'll get your desired result. But uh, I'm going to back up here because I like to have a lot of my paragraphs justified. Uh, it looks a lot neater. I'm I'm not a fan of of uh, paragraphs that are ragged on the right, um, kind of like this. I mean, you'll pick up a lot of brochures and you'll see that, and it looks I mean it looks very messy, I believe. So um, another trick, uh, let's let's come back here. Is uh, well not a trick, but uh, something else I I do is I make sure that. Um, I show options on here. There's a couple more things we can do, and you could either do the left indent, uh, indent the whole. It's going to indent the whole paragraph from the left. All right, right indent is obviously going to do it from the right, which is right here. And this is going to do the first line indent. So if you want to do some kind of effect like that, it's just going to mess with the first line. And then we have a couple different options. We can add space before a paragraph or after a paragraph. Uh, what I like to do is I like to, to add space. Um, before and after a paragraph, I kind of do it a manual way. Is I select this paragraph and say, you know, that's my first paragraph, and here's my second paragraph of type. And say I want to move this paragraph, the bottom paragraph, just a little bit down. Um, what I would do is I would select this first line, only select the first line. Because if you select the whole paragraph, it's going to add leading to the whole paragraph. Select the first line and then add some leading on it. All right. And that's going to space it out. Uh, as much as you need it to be spaced out. So um, the last thing I would do in here is uh, I would make sure your hyphenation is always off. Uh, it just it makes it look a lot neater that you don't have lines and words breaking to the next the next line. So uh, we're going to turn off hyphenation, and in here we apparently have a space. Uh, well, actually, excuse me, we don't have a space. We have we don't have to fix my lead in right there. Okay, so. Taking that hyphenation out is and is is definitely something that's going to make everything look a lot neater. Um, I don't hyphenate anything. I make sure all my paragraphs are not hyphenated. Um, and just as in this paragraph, uh, what I did was, 
you, when you have space, the the first goal is to you know your thing is like we need to fill this space, and that's true. But you don't need to fill it with more and more words. So like for instance, uh, if I had uh, if I put this right here at twelve point letting because ten point type uh, twelve point letting is where you should have your letting. You should always have your letting two points above your type size. So that's really what is the correct way of doing this paragraph. So say I only have this paragraph um, and I didn't know about other ways to you know, uh, mess around with paragraphs. I might say to my client, well look, I mean I need some more text. I got this whole big space down here. Uh, the way of, of changing that is when you have this text box, uh, you make a text box this size and you're gonna put your type in there and you're just going to increase the letting and space it out a little bit. And if you look, that's gonna make it actually have a really nice, open, clean feel. It's very easy to read and uh, it looks nice and neat. So um, one thing, I uh, it's up to my discretion when I'm designing, but uh, in some cases, uh, you'll see most of these elements up here are, are centered uh, perfectly. They are, they are not left aligned or right aligned, they are centered. Um, the only thing on this panel that's not centered is is this, and uh, I just like it because uh, it just makes everything look a little ragged on the sides. Um, and my whole goal was to get everything to be really lined up, especially in my paragraphs. You know, if somebody's going to be reading a paragraph of text. You want it to be easy for them to read. You don't want it to be, you know, uh, difficult for them to go through this because it's now it's jumping. This is going to the next line, and uh, it's just an aesthetic type of a thing. And uh, it's going to make everything look a lot better. Yeah, it truly is. So, uh, you pick up any professional, um, any professional brochures, or, or or just type in advertising agency in Google and look what uh, you know their portfolios look like. It's going to be the same exact type of stuff, uh, clean and neat. So, um, same thing with this paragraph. Um, you know, everything's uh, left justified and no no hyphenation. Uh, same thing in here. Um, but you're gonna notice there's gonna be some spacing issues. Uh, well, not issues, but spac spacing because of the whole fact that it's justified. Um, if you feel that's happening to you, you can always take your text box, you can grab one of these transform points and make sure you hold the option because it's gonna do it from the left to right in, uh, inwards. And because if I let go of option, it's gonna do that. So option's gonna go like that and, and pull it in from both sides. And it's going to bring everything closer, but now it's going to make more lines and it's going to make more uh, more experimentation because now I have that word machines going across the whole thing. So um, what you could do here if you really didn't like the, the spacing, you could select this whole line and you could track it out a little bit. And it's going to add space after each word and it's going to make it look a little bit better. So, um, and that's really it on paragraphs. I mean, uh, paragraphs are, uh, it, it's, you know, doing them neatly, uh, especially if they're gonna be reading a lot of information. Um, in a lot of the flyers I do, uh, there's usually like one or two paragraphs, but if you're designing a brochure, a lot of times, um, you know, you don't want people reading and reading and reading information, but as opposed to this brochure, uh, there was a lot of information we really needed to get on because there was a bunch of different things. Uh, this whole right panel is a, a completely, uh, separate uh, advertisement for group sessions in this fitness studio. So, um, you know, it, it's a completely different thought. So, there was more um, emphasis and more uh, information we had to give people about it. So, it wasn't something we could really briefly name in a bullet. So, uh, paragraphs, uh, if they're all over the place, um, and there's a lot of text elements as there, there are in here, as you can see, everything's uh, laid out very nice and neatly. Uh, we got headings here, uh, separating sections with more paragraphs, and um, it's it's just you know doing the stuff neat uh, along with all the other stuff with the graphics and the colors and everything. Uh, it's it's going to help you uh, in the end have a very nice clean looking piece. So uh, again, my name is Steve, GraphicDesignerTips.com. Um, any questions, comments, let me know. Uh, I'll be glad to help, but uh, I hope you guys are getting some good stuff out of these videos. I've been getting a couple comments, some emails on them, and I'm real happy about that. So uh, as long as it's helping, I'm going to keep making them. So again, visit GraphicDesignerTips.com for all your graphic design needs, and uh, we're going to keep evolving and keep putting stuff up there. So uh, uh, keep tuning in. All right. Have a good day. Peace.